Chris Bryant, the minor league player of the year last year, who's got a chance to be just a superb baseball player. Third baseman, all the lanky, great power all the field, 09 yards. And we are still in a situation here that the Cubs, and you can't blame them because the rule says they should, that the Cubs are going to send him down at the end of spring training and let him sit there in the minor leagues in Iowa for 12, 13 days before they can call him up so they can obviously save the service time and they can have him for an extra year of control as far as free agency is concerned down the road. This rule has to be addressed. You can't blame the agent, you can't blame the player if this is annoying, and you can't blame the Cubs. This rule has to be addressed. I understand it's a financial situation. Yes, you'd want an extra year, you know, delay free agency. I get all that. But what is going on in baseball? We're trying to market our young players. We're trying to be in a situation. We're trying to, you know, get the young fan involved. Here's a guy that we've all heard about. He hits a lot of home runs. We love the home runs. He's the minor league player of the year. He's got nothing else to prove. Everybody says he's the nicest kid in the world. The Cubs are a team that the whole world can latch on to, see if they can make the playoffs and break this incredible drought. Wrigley Field, the whole nine yards. And oh, by the way, they play Easter Sunday on ESPN, the first baseball game of the year against the Cardinals. Nothing's going on that night. That's in between Final Four and Championship game. Women's Final Four, eh, I can do without. Connecticut wins by 100 points every year anyway. And I got a Cub Cardinal game. I'm on TV. And I got to do Cubs Cardinals. And I don't have Brian at third base because I got to make sure he's down somewhere in Iowa. As I said the other day, he's going to miss 12 to 16 games. And the first time we'll see Chris Bryant will be on a 30-degree night in Pittsburgh in front of 12,000 in the middle of April. I mean, it makes no sense. This has to change. This is a big story. I mean, the Cubs, this is a big story. And, I, and nobody gets blame here except the sport. The Cubs don't get the blame. They matter. The agent doesn't get the blame. It's not poor Bryant's fault. And we all know that this he could hit 100 home runs in spring. What difference does it make? He's not going to make the team. I mean, theoretically, he's going to be down in the minor leagues. That, that bothers me. I mean, that, that bothers me. Uh, he, uh, it's not about sorry, it's about winning ball. And I'll tell you something else. They play the Pirates twice. They play the Reds twice. They play the Car. They play a lot of divisional games. I've told you a thousand times, you can't win a pennant in April, but you can lose a pennant in April. And the Cubs are not exactly going to win 100 games. Those games are important. How about if the Cubs go out there and finish a game or two shy of a, of a wild card spot or a divisional scenario because they got off to a bad start? And the whole thing's bad, and they need to change it.